Hello everyone, this is James again with uh, version 3.2 of the Liquid uh, Loans uh, Haunted Strategy Spreadsheet. I've added the uh, Loan the Dips, uh, or yeah, Loan the Dip uh, strategy to a, the spreadsheet now. Um, so this uh, image here is showing you uh, the strategy as per uh, Haunted. He uh, uploaded this to the to the Telegram. Liquid Loans Telegram. So what this strategy is that like you just basically wait, you wait for an all-time high and then you wait for a dip, you know, 50%, 20%, whatever, whatever it is, and then you take a loan at the dip so that your uh, collateralization is is hiked way up. You're not taking as many loans, um, but your uh, collateralization stays super high. You know, every time you take a loan, it goes back to a thousand or whatever, and then um, it'll keep going. It'll uh, so that when you take that loan at a thousand, it'll be at the dip, and then when it goes back up above all-time highs, you wait for another dip, and then you just keep doing that over. So, how to do that in the spreadsheet? You go over here to this loan the dip checkbox, and you you click it so it's on, and then what it does is it. Uh, so you put in also you uh, so say that you're so you loan the dip you wait for a two a x which is a hundred percent uh, increase in price from uh, all time highs and then that's what the spreadsheet's doing and then it'll it'll kind of then you can put in whatever here if you want to wait for a fifty percent dip you can or you can do like twenty five percent uh, the higher the percentage you wait the bigger your collateral gets which is you know less risk. Or I don't know. I'll I'll show you here. But so I just put a hundred percent increase. Every hundred percent increase of price, um, you wait for a twenty five percent deep from all time high, and then it'll because this is checked, it'll it'll loan, take out a loan at that point in time. So as you can see, you're not taking out as many loans in this uh, in this column here. Um, so it still does the initial two thousand dollar loan that you had to take out. Um, and then, so basically, you can pretend that because this is a a month later after uh, Liquid Loans uh, after Pulse launches, Liquid Loans will launch a month later, and then basically you can pretend that it already did the dip thing and you already took out the initial loan on the dip. So that's what we're going to print pretend happens here. So then um, you wait. So here are the prices. So you took say this is the dip right here. So say it was up to 0 0.003 dot 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 uh, you took a loan waited for the tw or you know 25 percent whatever 50 percent you took the loan out and then now you're you're getting to so say at 25 percent it's um uh, about here is about when you're up to the back up to the all-time highs according to the percentages here so then you're going to wait until it goes another 100 percent um, in this thing, actually, I don't think it'll work that way, but you're, so you're waiting for a 100% dip, um, which is basically here, I believe, uh, yeah. So, between this day and this day, there's a dip of 25%, um, and that will trigger the loan. Um, and then you take out the loan, and then basically your collateral. So you're, you can see your collateralization levels. You know, you start at thousand percent basically. Um, but let's say we start at this dip instead. Let's do that. So you take out a loan at the fifty percent, at the twenty-five percent dip or whatever, um, with a hundred percent increase in price from the all-time high. And then so that that'll be that much. And then you can see how your uh, it basically takes the percentage off of this previous day's amount, so that's why, you know, this this amount will has already added up the this day's uh, increase in price. So basically, you can kind of think that between this day and this day, it went down to 25 cent, and then it it, kept, it started back up already the next day. So you're kind of going off of that, and that's what this goes off of the 25 percent of this price the previous day's high price so that's how the, it calculates it and then it just waits 
um, the weights for the this price here to go back up see how it dropped and then it goes back up and then you can uh, again you can um, determine how fast it goes back up with this multiplier here and again um, the prices if you change this up up this little bit you know the price will go up more and more um, but it's based off this uh, 100x right here per year price and then this is factored in and then uh, this multiplier is factored in too so you got to kind of factor in each each of these to see you know to 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 imagine why this is going up so fast or slow you can change those numbers to uh to increase or decrease the price uh how fast it goes up or down okay so so it went down here and then it took it took the loan out and now it's just waiting till it gets back up to above all-time highs which is you know this this right here is all-time high so it's going to wait another 100 uh, 2x or 100 percent increase in price so then you go down to 62 cents here uh, okay so then or 63 you know, obviously it's approximate so so then the you know base then uh, so then you can see here it took out another loan at our 25 percent drop and then so it just keeps going and going and going there's another you know big 25 percent drop and then 100% increase from the all-time uh, all-time highs, basically. Yeah. So, um, and then if you turn this off, it'll change that and dot dot. dot you know, but you can see how it'll uh, keep taking out loan, 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 loan. So. So if I change this quick to, so remember this, 9704, we'll copy that, um, paste the value, paste the value, and then now I'm going to switch this off here. So then it's going to have to recalculate, um, and then it, actually this also turns off uh, the uh, saving the USDL half or whatever half percent later turns that function off when the loan to debt is collected so you won't have the this this one will always be zero when, whenever you click this button here loan to debt so so now you can see uh, this so you can see how you know you're, you're when you click the loan to debt you're decreasing your 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 risk because your collateralization is always going to go up above a thousand percent before you uh, loan, so you're at risk, but you're you're not making as much because this was loan to dip and this isn't loan to dip. So um, that's that. So yeah. So you can take it as it is. I'll go back to this quick. I didn't. I don't think I. Uh, I didn't really uh, show you how why you're decreasing your risk. Because I'm going to show you that quick and then we'll be done. So it's calculating, calculating. All right, so here, this is the collateralization right here. So you can see with loan the debt clicked. Now, whenever you take a loan out here, uh, you can see how it went all the way up to two. Uh, this basically this higher number is what you'll be at when you take the when you take the loan out. So then you'll go back to the thousand, and then. Um, so then your collateralization looks, goes up. It'll always be around this last number every time it does it. So your collateralization uh, it'll keep it'll keep getting to that point, and then it'll go back down to thousand. Keep getting to twenty seven hundred, you know, whatever your percentages are at. So uh, and then one last thing here, you can see in this survive column here, that's your percentage drop in price. So you know. It'll be with this 25%, 100% increase. You know your your uh, your survival rate will go up to 94.7% at this stuff. If you put it to say 50%, recalculate. Now while it's recalculating, I'm going to show you this quick. I was looking at the code. Uh, not that one. Stakes was it? 
uh, look, so uh, hex is a 72-bit number in the in the contract. So I was looking at this like currently our our uh, thing here our uh, supplies at 5,577 billion hex. Uh, that's total supply. Um, so then you have to add the zeros to it to get the full numbers. There's a uh, how many is that? So there's so many, you know, 72 bits. Uh, well, anyways, so when you increase the uh, every year, you get a, about a 4% increase in price or uh, supply. So what I did was I kind of every year, this is equals every year of supply of, of hex. So as you can see, it grows pretty good. You know, it goes up to a trillion by year six, uh, 16. Uh, so in 15 years or whatever, it'll be it'll be a trillion hex. Um, so then I was kind of going forward with that all the way up to uh, year. So we'll go all the way down to year 114. And year 114 is 46 trillion hex. <laughs> if we ever get to year 114, and that's a 72 bit. See, this is the ones that equals this plus the eight decimals. You have to add that to it because it's a, it's just the way it works. So 72 bits and 46 trillion. So year 115 is when hex is no longer usable. So uh, the sky is on fire. Year 115. 115 years from now, you will not be able to use hex anymore because it'll outgrow the bits of the supply that's uh, in the contract. Just a little bit of a warning for you. But yeah, until then, stay on. But okay, well back to this. So it it uh, I change it to 50%. So you can see how your survival rate goes up to 94.71% of the drop. So there you go. Thanks for watching.